Welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, we're going to cover a list items, basically an order list and order list, how to create them in Dreamweaver. So let's get started. So I have a line here. Basically, I just copy and paste into the body tag of a new document here uh, that has a plethora of artwork, drawing, painting, printmaking, digital art, animation, mixed media. So uh, perhaps this plethora of artwork, I want to make that into an H1 tag. Well, again, I can go to the HTML uh, and go to the heading here and again, choose whichever heading I want that to be. So I'm going to make it H1 tag, say. Now, uh, the rest here, I want to actually make these guys into an, an order list. So what I could do is highlight them and uh, pretty easily to do that in the code view here. Just select them all like the so. And then over here in the in the insert panel again under HTML, uh, you'll see here unordered and ordered list. So if I choose an order list, watch what happens. Uh, nothing seems to happen. <laughs> and uh, what happens is you have the unordered list icon here, but now we need to make these into list icons. So you could do it a couple different ways. You could select the individual drawing and then choose that to be in a list item. And then you can see here it has the bullet point. Now, uh, at this point, what I could do is with each of these in uh, live view or actually in design view, it's actually easier to do this. I can uh, basically just hit enter with each of these. So instead of having to go through and do that with each one, uh, I can very easily do that here and just hit enter or return on a Mac. Enter return. So I want digital art then animation and then finally mix media here and enter and uh, if you don't see list items here uh, what will happen is you can click out someplace and then you'll see it up here if I go back to live view here you can see uh, now I have these individual list items and they are a part of an unordered list here right here so what if I want to change them from unordered list to ordered list? Well, I can do that. Uh, first of all, let's let's actually um, format the source code a little bit. Makes it a little easier to see here the unordered list and list items here. The spacing here isn't that big of an issue, but typically I like to have it a little bit cleaner here. So I just kind of bring these guys back a little bit here. But to make this an order list, all you gotta do is add an O right here and an O right here and then click out and now you can see an ordered list now to edit this list I can click on one of these icons here uh, like or in here and I can go to the edit menu go down to list and go to the properties here and what will happen is here you can change the list type so right now it's a number list if I want it to be a bullet list I could choose that and then there's a, a bullet in a square. So if I want it to be square, I can do that and click OK. So just to show you how you can modify this. And then if I want to go back, just click inside one of these guys, go to Edit, go to List, and then choose uh, Properties again. This time I'm going to go back to um, a number list, which is right here, which is the ordered list. Uh, ignore the directory in the menu list. Those are older versions that eventually get wiped out. Um, under style here I can choose the default which is the numbers but I could choose Roman numerals um, and then I could start a, a start count so if I want to start at 4 I could type in a 4 if I want to start at a 5 I can type in a 5 so I'll start at 4 for example and click OK and you'll see here it starts at, at, at 4 and then 5, 6, 7, 8 and so forth so um, pretty cool to do that on the fly again you just have to make sure you select inside here then go to the edit menu, preferences, and then, um, I'm sorry, list, and then down to properties, and then you have access to it. Now say, uh, let's go back to, let's see, regular numbers, and we'll leave this uh, blank here, click OK. What if I want to have some of these to be um, sort of embedded, like embedded list? So say, uh, under drawing, uh, or under printmaking, I want, digital art to be under it. Um, what I can do is select the digital art just by clicking on it here and there's a peculiar hotkey. It is um, uh, control 
alt and then um, the square right bracket and that gives you the uh, list item here you can see here it starts to be a one here so if I now added additional items it would add um, other embedded lists inside this list and it's a little bit complicated as you can see here if we go back to design view here you can see it here and if I actually hit return from here it would start more embedded here so if I added um, I don't know uh, traditional uh, printmaking or how about Intaglio and then I could add you know lithography so you can see here how I have uh, these guys are again a child of the parent here they're sort of indebted here and of course this is all editable so again under the edit menu list I could choose the order list and see what that looks like under properties I can choose again uh, different options here maybe Roman numerals click OK you can see here the difference there so uh, have fun playing around with lists there are lots of fun the ordered and order unordered lists in uh, Adobe Dreamweaver CC until next time cheers